as springtime surrenders to the warmth of summer, my fishing adventures begin once again, finally. It's been far too long since I've been able to truly immerse myself in a session free from distractions. I'm eager to relight that spark with what hopefully will be a successful start to the season. This is my first proper session of the year. It is a, an amazing place. Obviously, this is the mirror on Ashbury Fisheries. I just can't stay away from this place. It is just, uh, it's awesome. Um, I'm just trying to sort my crap out as we, as I talk. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, yeah, it's been a busy year so far. A really busy year. Just trying to keep up with work and uh, fun stuff, <laughs> fun stuff, um, trying to get out as much as possible. As I say, this is my first proper fishing session. I did go fishing the other week just to kind of on my club water just for the evening. Had a few fish off the top, it was good fun. Uh, but yeah, I feel a, bit, a little bit shamed that I haven't gotten out and actually done this and I've got him for me now, Obi. So Obi's coming with me. Hopefully he's bring me good luck. Last time he came with me, uh, when was the last time you came with me? I don't know. I don't worry about it. Uh, the last time he came, I had orange spot on the top lake. Uh, so I'm hoping that there's some magic in there somewhere that he might just, no, nah, probably not. Um, as I, said, I just want to get a bit organized there because I hate having a, an untidy swim. So, um, yeah, what I'm hoping is that the bug, not the bug, I, I don't lose the bug, I just don't have time. You know, if I have more time, I'd make loads more content and be fishing and making videos and showing you all how amazing this is. But, you know, life gets in the way, you know, you just you're not working, family, uh, what else, everything, everything else. And you probably know that I'm, I'm big into my wildlife, love going out and filming wildlife and doing photographs. So I've got to kind of balance that as well. Ah, oh, it's hectic, but this, this is not hectic. This is just, this is like my dream location where you just sit back and relax. Once I'm set up here, I can get my rods out. I know what I'm doing with them. I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna put, one over here with a bag, just off of this lily pads over the back here. One on that tree line and one out in deep water. That's what I'm gonna start with tonight. I'm just gonna take it really easy, be really chilled. Hopefully, might catch a bite. If not, I'm gonna wait till the morning. I'm gonna see if there's anything about on the surface. Oh, one thing I must do as well is keep my eye out for these, these birds that I wanna keep filming. There's lots of bird life in this tree line here. When I first got here, something flew out and scared lots of birds. I've just seen some young coots come out there. There's them obviously screaming. I think it might have been a marsh harrier. It was very light and had longer legs. Uh, it's too big to be a sparrowhawk. And it just the legs, long. Could have been, uh, could have been a young buzzard, I guess, but I don't know. I think it was a, it's a perfect place for him to hunt around here anyway, but. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that uh, we can get some birding going on as well. Obviously, I do want to catch a fish, that'd be nice, but 
I'm, uh, I've kind of come in with two things in mind. I love being out here anyway. I love being with nature and just being all that sort of stuff. But actually, obviously I'm here to catch fish. And I'd love to see one of the lovely mirrors out there. The mirrors on here are beautiful. They're old and a bit crusty and they're originals. You know, they're really nice looking fish. So I'm, I really hope that I can, can nab one. Um, but yeah, I'll also keep an eye on the rest of the lake and see if anybody else is having anything. There's a couple of guys on tonight. Uh, it's very quiet here, so it's quite nice. Not loads of pressure. The guy I spoke to at uh, Party Point, which is in the middle of the lake, said that he'd have done a walk around. He's seen a few fish down here, down the bottom. They said they're everywhere, which is great. Can you settle down? Yeah, oh, all right, calm down. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry. I know, but I'm filming. Yeah, I know. Yeah, whatever. Oh, mm. I see. It's like that, is it? It's a quick cuddle. You want cuddles? Oh, well, I you could see. Feed me. You want to be on the you want to be on the TV, don't you? Yeah. I want to be on the TV, Dad. All right, calm down. Don't show off in front of the camera. You don't mind um, it at home. Yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully he'll be okay. He did come out with me before, as I said, and was a little bit restless because he he wasn't used to sleeping out and he didn't didn't know what the sounds were. Did you? Didn't know what the sounds were. <laughs> I but, do not um, sound like that. The uh, hopefully this time he'll be a bit more cooler. Bloody human. Hopefully, if anything, he'll, he'll... Can you... Goodbye. Chill out. Um, yeah, hopefully he'll just be cool and tell me if my arms go off and I'm deep in my sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. doubt ourselves. After a prolonged absence from a proper fishing session, it's natural to think you'll need a refresher course on how to tie those 637 rigs. But surprisingly enough, it's like riding a bike. Once you start, it all comes flooding back as if it was yesterday. As the afternoon sun begins to fade, it's time to put my plan into action. I've located a couple of promising areas and now it's all about enticing those monsters from the deep. Armed with my weapons of choice, I prepare to deploy an irresistible combination of mixed boilies and chops, complemented with pellet and, of course, the ever-reliable yellow peril, the sweet corn. end up just spending so much time just rushing around trying to get those little things done before it gets dark. There's definitely some fish moving around in this bay though. I've got all three rods out. Wasn't crazy about where they went. Uh, two of them fairly solid and I have got them in bags which is fine. The right hand one a little bit softer but again, I am presenting it in a bag, a little spinner. So I'm kind of not too worried about it. I put a little bit of bait out there and I'm just fishing for a bite tonight. I've kind of done what I normally do, which is kind of a safety thing, sticking it in a bag, putting enough bait out there. Hopefully something will swim by and pick it up. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's kind of normal, I guess, for most of us. 
but I just feel that I'm not really putting the time that I need in to really, you know, tick those percentages. Um, so we'll still see. I'm not, you know, may look stressed. I'm not stressed at all. I'm, you know, I'm just going to have something to eat, a little drink, tease the dog a bit, and then I am. That is it. I'm just, I'm just in calm mode because it's so beautiful here. Ugh, my middle world keeps beeping, and I don't know if it, I think it might just be a bit of weed, but I don't know. Who knows? Might be fish out there. Um, yeah. So we'll just play it by and see how it goes. Hopefully, we we'll get a bite. Who knows? Or maybe not. Maybe we won't get sod all, and I'll just go looking for birds. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Jesus. The things we do, eh? Bloody YouTube. to wake up, old man. While some may sing the bedchair praises and claim it provides the best sleep they've had in years, I must confess I don't share that sentiment. And to add to my early morning gripes, my rods are stiller than Ben Stiller. Well, at least someone's happy this morning. I am joking, of course. I mean, Waking up in Mother Nature, you know, with it all around you, it is just pure bliss. And it's something that I've loved. Whoa, nice hat here, dude. <laughs> Duh. Did you remember to bring the dog brush? <laughs> Jokes. Anyway, let's get on with the day, shall we? should start the proceedings, just to see if there are any interested residents willing to surface. I absolutely love my surface fishing. I feel like a proper hunter. Mid-afternoon, mid-afternoon, it's a glorious day. So much life going on out here. A little bit too much life, if I have to be honest. Um, I've seen plenty of fish come through here. Some absolute monsters as well. Saw a monster mirror come through. Must have been maybe full of spore maybe, but it was big, like it had its frame. And then it had an under frame. <laughs> it was big. Um, but the problem is, hang on. 
the problem is is that I'm feeding them up with this so I'm putting out some freebies I'm, I'm trying to fish off the top so I'm trying to just put the odd little pouch out uh, but at the moment all I seem to be getting is birds and you know I love birds I do love birds love birds however right they're just taking all your mixes off of the surface so you've got black and gold you've got coots over here you've got swans you've got ducks you've got everything it's great kind of you know much as I love filming these lovely birds they're a pain in the backside when it comes to doing surface fishing because all they do is take your baits and to be honest with you I don't think these fish are well I think they've got other things on their mind I mean it is spawning season I think they've got sex in the mind and that's apparent you know they're swimming around in threes and fours they kind of stick into the edges and not not going into the edges I have noticed but um, you know they just don't seem to be up for eating <laughs> which is this is natural I know it's natural and I will come back obviously in the summer when it's a bit more oh, I think I mean this weather is glorious I mean it is perfect for flooded fishing but as I say I just cannot attract them I put out about a quarter of a bucket full of dog mixes with oils and all sorts of lovely things there have been none of it the, the occasional one or two might gingerly feed off the surface but it's just not happening you know I will but there's one feeding just there but it's just like one feeder you want these fish to be competitive you want them to sort of like lose their their sight on what they're what they're actually you know eating so that I can present this which is like it's like a, uh, a dog biscuit but it's not it's my hook but as I say at the moment they're not they're just not they're not interested maybe this afternoon might change but right now I'm fighting a losing battle against the birds and the fish of course <laughs> feeling deflated I reluctantly hang up the surface gear for now and it's probably the best decision considering these two rogues have just invaded my swim how very dare you manage the well-being of the lake whilst on my watch who do you think you are the owner come on boy let's take a stroll around the lake take our minds off the mission for an hour or so i don't know if it's just me but does time accelerate when you're on the bank it definitely feels like it I mean, one moment you're enjoying breakfast porridge pots and in the blink of an eye you're contemplating on what to cremate in the ridge monkey. It's odd. Time is indeed precious and once it's gone you can never get it back. That's why it's essential to cherish every moment and savour the entire experience, even the burnt bits. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm coming home in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's nothing to show currently. I have still got tonight. I do, I do sometimes catch. No, I just love being here. I love being here. It's, it's an amazing place and... No, it's fine. Yeah, 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 I'm warm. I've got clothes, I've got food. Dog's fine. Dog is happy as Larry. I don't know. I don't know who Larry is, but no, I am. I'm going to eat my dinner now. Look. Oh. Yeah, I love you too. My lovely bunny. Yeah, I love you too. All right then, Mum. All right, Mum. See you later. Bye. Bye. Sorry about that. Um, interesting day as in interesting no fish day but what a beautiful day such gorgeous weather um i think i might have caught the sun a bit 
Um, it's great to be out here. I love this place. You know, even though I didn't catch, I've seen loads of fish. I've seen some big fish here. And it is one of those kind of places where you can just watch the water and climb a tree, look down, and see all these beautiful things happening. Obviously, they're not taking your bait. <sighs> My rods are on the spots. My middle rod, which is a short four, four rod lengths away, is a coot that I think it might have found my bait. I love wildlife. I really love wildlife. I love birds, but <sighs> I love birds. Um, um, but I'm, I'm quite confident in a way that I know that they're presented right. My left rod is out 14 wraps, my right rod is out 14 wraps, my middle rod is four wraps. And they've all got bait on them. I, I can't do anything else but wait. And I'm here till tomorrow morning, so I've got the night, and hopefully something gets hungry. Who knows? And, and talking of hunger, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna make myself some food. So I've got a caramelized red onion sausages, which are probably out of date. I've got some stale buns and some off cheese. And this will all go into the Ridge Monkey, into my stomach, and then out of my bottom at some point. But uh, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna have coffee, sit and watch some water, play with the dog a little bit, if he deems to even give a crap. And then I'm gonna hit the sack because I'm pretty tired. I was up at five. I did have a take this morning, or what I thought was a take. And by the time I got down to the rods, like, yeah, as you do, running around the dark, putting my lights on, it just, it, it wasn't, it wasn't anything. So I don't know if it was a trailer or, oh, I've just seen a fish roll on my bait. I think it was a tench. In fact, I know it was a tench, rounded fins at the back. A tench is a fish? <laughs> anyway, we've still got tonight, hopefully, if it all goes to plan, I'll have a fish in the morning to show you. If not, I'll have bugger all to show you in the morning and I just won't do anything else. This will be it. Good night. Hopefully it won't be. Now, now about, about those sausages, um, are, are there any available for me? Um, I, don't, I don't think so, boy. I don't think, I don't think there's enough here. But I have been a very good boy and... I, I, one, two, three, four. I don't think, no, there's not enough here for you, but they're, they're, they're just for me. But, but I'm very hungry, and, um, actually, they do look a bit burnt, actually. God, you, you do like to cremate your food, don't you? Um, actually, on second thoughts, maybe, maybe I won't bother. You know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to look after their weight. <laughs> Selfish kid. As the late afternoon creeps in, it's time for me to top up them spots. And despite the temptation to search for new locations, I've made a firm decision to stick to my original plan. Was it the right move? Only time will tell if I've made the right choice. But once again, I find myself doubting the decisions I've made. Should I change spots, use a chod in the weed, or spend some time searching for that elusive dinner plate that everyone's talking about? Confidence may not come natural to me, but my willingness to learn and test my own theories is what truly defines me as an angler. William Shakespeare once said, sod it, let's have a beer. Well, William, thank you for your words of wisdom, however, Beer solved nothing. It's my last morning and despite the gorgeous sunrise, my mood is a little sombre. 
And yes, it could be the beer. But as you probably guessed by now, nothing happened through the night. The question is, was my mission to film and catch in two days too ambitious? Probably. I need to keep things in perspective and not let these blank sessions dampen my spirits. I mean, we all go through it, don't we? However, in the unpredictable world of fishing, when all seems lost, Fate has a way of stepping in. From my elevation point, I could see some movement in the weed in the swim next door to me. And yes, it's last knockings, but you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? Ah, yes. Uh, Somebody forgot to charge the GoPro last night. Thanks a lot, fate. Stupid idiot. Finally, finally, I have actually managed to snag one. Oh dear, I am not in shock, but yeah, I'm a bit <laughs> lost for words, as they might say. That's a nice looking fish. Not sure how big it is. Uh, nice mirror, very nice mirror. Hang on. Lovely, beautiful fish. Wow, I am <laughs> more than happy with that. God, bloody hell. Oh, there she is. <sighs> what a stunning, stunning creature. Ho oh, oh, 33 pounds. It's got to be a known fish. Ash knows all of his fish. So I'm really, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm gonna spin you around just to show you the other side. Proper dinosaur. Lovely scales. Look at that. Proper English mirror. Oh, you can go to France and catch these, but you can catch them in the UK too. <laughs> Look at that. That's a beast. Oh, I am mega happy with that. Mwah. After a careful reweigh, the fish named Brother of Plates came in at 32 pounds and six ounces, which I am ecstatic about. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> My mission is complete and I'm honestly made up with this last minute capture. And of course, I could have closed the session with a tale of woe, but no, a fantastic opener for my season ahead. <laughs> Sulking in the weed already. In the weeks that followed, 
the carp on Ashbury embarked on their annual spawning ritual, creating an awe-inspiring spectacle that showcased the true magnificence of these beautiful creatures. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And um, if you do that, I will, um, I'll make some more videos. It's simple as that.